We're announcing the kickoff here in Homa and Thibodeau, actually Lockport, for uh, Lemonade Day Louisiana 2016 and trying to get the community excited and understanding what the program is. Lemonade Day is a free program that teaches kids how to start, own, and operate their own business, a lemonade stand. It's important because we empower our youth to become our today's youth to become tomorrow's entrepreneurs, which is very important because we want these kids to understand that the things that they want in life and receive in life aren't free, and they have to. Their parents work for those things, so by them working, they have a better understanding of what really goes into wanting things, and also let them know that they have the power to become one day something greater than than settling for for just a regular job. So we want the youth to understand also the importance of financial literacy, uh, understanding how numbers work, math works, understanding you know how to manage their money essentially. So we're hoping that by them learning those things, that in the future they'll they'll also manage their money uh, responsibly. I think it's great just to get that early uh, sense of um, um, you know uh, entrepreneurship, you know business, earning money, uh, being responsible, uh, showing them how to um, make a living or own a business. Really, that's what it really comes down to. Uh, just if you can learn it early and keep on as you grow up, you know you study, get you interested in business and financial planning. It's just great for a, a good future for the kids. We've been supporting Lemonade Day for a long time now and for many, many years uh, since it actually got started. And Todd Graves, who's Raising Cade's founder, is a close friend of mine, and John George is the owner of The Advocate. Uh, we're all friends, uh, but besides the friendship part, supporting something like Lemonade Day um, is easy. Uh, when, you, when you have something that is teaching kids at a young age entrepreneurship, uh, teaching them the, the fundamentals of what things cost, um, the lemons, the sugar, the water, um, the cups, and then actually coming up with a, a business plan to sell it and actually make money. And when they receive that first dollar into their pockets, um, getting something that they've, they've earned is, is a feeling that they'll never forget. To support something like that and to help develop our youth into to really learning entrepreneurship at an early age, is that's why I'm involved in it. Teaching them how to start their own business and what it is to get started in business, how to promote the business. and. I mean, we all have to start somewhere in business and where better than, 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 than a, young, a young child. And it, 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 it'll help them decide what they want to go to college for. And uh, now across the state, I think they do like 20000 uh, a, a year across the state. And I think in Terrebonne, you know, we expected 75 or 100 And I imagine the same in Lafourche. Uh, we actually are hosting two local events, us along with uh, some local businesses, Raisin Canes, Rouses, and our local libraries. Uh, and we're going to host an event in Homa as well as in Thibodeau, both downtown. Uh, and that's for kids to bring out their lemonade stands, uh, let us do the marketing for them, let us bring the crowd in for them, uh, and they're able to sell their lemonade to a larger crowd than maybe they would at their own house. <laughs> Parish wide, I think they expect the 75 or 100 that, that, that participate and cost. Rouse's, I believe, has has the uh, bag, the backpacks, and the lemon, the lemons, and they help them get started, and they pick up their backpack sets and all that, either there or raising canes. We encourage, really what we'd like to see is teachers signing up their classes. So really think it's great in a classroom setting uh, if a teacher signs up their whole class and teaches the program to them, uh, just because it kind of gets the kids excited and gives them a great lesson plan. Uh, but besides that, we have after school activities, junior league, junior achievement. We also have um, churches, youth groups, different organizations, and any organization can get involved and, uh, and teach however they want. We encourage, you know, we understand that not everyone's parents maybe have the, the uh, capabilities or resources to, to, to give them time because they might have to be working late shifts or whatnot. So we, we, we encourage anyone that can teach a program to some youth that, you know, it will make a huge impact on their lives. So we do ask that, uh, you know, if a parent can't do it, that we find a grandparent, someone that really can be a caring mentor for these people. And where can we get more information? You can visit louisiana.lemonadeday.org. And when is Lemonade Day? Lemonade Day is April 30th, 2016. Good morning. Uh, welcome. We're glad to be here today in Lockport. We are at Bollinger Shipyards. Uh, we are here today to announce the Louisiana Lemonade Day kickoff 2016, and we are welcomed by uh, Ben Bordelon, uh, CEO of Bollinger Shipyards, who is our Homa, Thibodeau, and Lockport City champion this year, and along with um, Rouse's Market, who have been involved for many years now. We have uh, Katie Portier from Synergy Bank, and we also have Gordy Dove, uh, Terrebonne Parish president, who we'd like to welcome. So first, I'd like to uh, welcome Gordy up to say a few words on the involvement of Lemonade Day. Gordy, What a great, uh, Gordon Dove, Parish President, Terrebonne Parish, what a, what, a great, what a great concept, Lemonade Day, to teach our young kids how, how to start early in life to, uh, on a basic time tradition of lemonade stands 
And, uh, you know, it's, it's a free program, and I, and I hope everyone comes out in, on, lemonade, on, on a lemonade day, and, uh, and please support them. And uh, Terrebonne Parish is 100% is, is, is behind them. And like I said, it's a great program for the children to get started and, and learn what it is to own businesses and, and really create the, the, their own style of business, how they want to get people to come to their lemonade stand and, and move lemonade. And it's, it's an old time, time tradition that we, we've all had a lemonade stand as we grew up you know, in, in, in our life. And, uh, and then on, on behalf of Terrebonne Parish and my wife, Mona Dove, we, you know, we, we, we're honored and proud to be a part of this Lemonade Day, and, ra and also with Raising Canes, Bollinger Shipyard, and uh, Synergy, uh, Synergy Bank, which I, I'm also on a board of directors of. So, and, Ra and Rouse's, and, um, and I think the Advocate, too, is, uh, is a sponsor, and, and, it's, and I'm proud to be a part of it, and uh, I wish all the kids, children good luck, and thank you all for coming. Thank you so much. And next, I'd like to introduce Ben Bordelon, who is uh, serving as our city champion this year here in Home Activity Lockport. And he has been involved, his company has been involved for many years now. And we're very excited this year after Donnie Rouse decided that he was still going to participate in the same capacity, but he wanted to allow someone else to have a chance to be the city champion. So we're very thankful for Donnie for that, and we're very glad to have Ben. Thank so you. Ben? Thank you. Thank you, Jordan. Um, and thanks, everybody, for being here, especially my family, my kids. Um, it's an exciting day. Uh, me being the city champion, um, it's a big honor for me. Um, my good friends Todd Graves and John Georges um, talked to me about this, and it was really easy to step up and do this uh, for this great cause. We've been supporting this uh, Lemonade Day for many years. Um, it's a great thing to keep, teach kids uh, young entrepreneurship at an early age um, while also having a lot of fun. Um, and the direction that, that Todd's given this um, and, and Raising Cane's leading this charge um, I think is a great deal. So from the, the mindset of let's teach them early um, and get them, get them excited and get them involved in selling lemonade um, at lemonade stands and having cuties like this out, uh, who can resist? Uh, so thanks again. I'm very honored Bollinger Shipyards being a part of this, uh, this great program. And I thank the leadership of Raising Canes and the advocate uh, for doing this for the communities around Louisiana. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you, Ben. We're excited as well. Uh, next, I'd like to introduce Katie Porte with Synergy Bank. Um, Synergy has been a big partner as well for many years now, and they also host uh, a location in downtown Thibodeau and Homa where uh, many people can come and set up sands. It's really cool. So I'll let her talk a little further on that. Thank you. Uh, it's always been a mission of Synergy Bank uh, to teach financial literacy to children. And so Lemonade Day was a great organization for us to be able to support and get involved with. Um, Synergy Bank, along with other local businesses, uh, including Rouse's, Raisin Cane's, and our local libraries, uh, we are actually all hosting two local uh, Lemonade Day events. One's going to be in Homa, one's going to be in Thibodeau. They're both going to be on April 30th. Uh, and we encourage our young local entrepreneurs to come out with their lemonade stands uh, and sell their their lemonade and their products uh, to the crowd that we hope to bring. Um, it's a great day. They have a lot of fun. Um, we had about 30 lemonaders uh, last year, and they all had a great time. Uh, we are going to give prizes for uh, best tasting lemonade and most creative stand. Uh, and we also encourage the public to come out and uh, buy from them and show them what um, you know this community is really about and let them show you their salesmanship. Thank you. Thank you, Katie. Uh, next, we'd like to welcome Tim Acosta with Rouse's Market. Um, like I said earlier, Rouse has been involved since the beginning. Very excited to have them on board. And they also serve as a pickup location here in Lockport and home in Thibodeau at all their stores. So uh, if anyone needs to get a backpack, they will be the place to pick it up besides Raising Cane. So we're very glad to have them on board again this year. And I'll let Tim say a few words. Okay. Thank you, Jordan. Yes, uh, glad to be here. Uh, as uh, mentioned previously, uh, we've been involved with Lemonade Day, I think, the last four or five years. So. And then um, Donnie got involved last year and we really, you know, stepped it up and we're glad to see it grow as it has. So y'all doing a great job. Um, we have the backpack that will be available for pickup at uh, all, several of our stores in the Homer, Thibodeau, Lockport area, as well as in the other areas of the state too, um, in Lafayette, uh, New Orleans, and uh, Denham Springs. So uh, this is a great event for the kids. It's a great event for the community. Um, it's, it's always, you know, enjoyable to see the young kids having a good time and, you know, learning about that, uh, you know, first experience, you know, making that first nickel or dime. Uh, and it's just a big enjoyment in their faces. So 
uh, and we will be sure that uh, we have lemons and sugar on sale that week too so everybody can come out and get their lemons and stuff to make the lemonade day uh, a success so thank you we're glad to be here thank you Joe. thank you Tim and last but not least, I'm gonna welcome Melena Spears from the Spears. I mean, Melena Mitchell from the Spears Group to come say a few words. Uh, she has been a major part of growing the program. She's been with us since the beginning, and she uh, leads all the PR efforts uh, statewide to really get the exposure in the media that we get. So, Melena, welcome you up to say a few words, please. Well, I always say it's a great day. Um, it's raining outside, but I feel like the sun is shining in this room. So, from the PR and media perspective. On Saturday, April 30th, we expect to have 20,000 kids across Louisiana to open new businesses on Lemonade Day. And from our perspective, what we want is to hashtag Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, so we know where you are because we want these children have worked so hard in preparing the Lemonade stands and going through the lessons. So I encourage everybody on Saturday, April 30th to take a picture, stop by a stand, come thirsty. That's what we always tell people. Bring water because, you know, some kids, a lot of sugar. Mm -hmm. uh, so make sure you support these kids and again thank you everybody that's involved in Lockport we could not do it without our wonderful city champion Ben um, Rouse's market our the parish president um, Synergy Bank um, just everybody that has made this program possible and without Jordan's leadership in taking the program each year we get better but since Jordan has taken over the program it's it we've we can't keep up can't keep up right Jamey uh, with everything that's happening because we're constantly more partners, more sponsors, more releases. So thank you all for coming here today and support these kids on Saturday, April 30th. Thank you, Melina. So key takeaways today, you can register online at louisiana.lemonadeday.org. You can go to any Rouse's uh, Market or uh, Raising Cane's Restaurant and register online as well as pick up your backpacks. Uh, to Melina's point, we've reached 75,000 kids Previously, this year we'll reach an additional 20, and we know every year it's going to grow. So we encourage the community and every market to be sure to, on April 30th, when you see a lemonade stand, stop by. You're going to see a lot of them, so just take a sip, throw it away, but definitely show the support to the kids that you're here. So thank you all for being here, and we're really looking forward to, uh, to getting started here in Homo. So thank you. All right, thank you.